Emily, exciting news out of Carbondale tonight. Concerts are coming back to the Banterra Center. Sam Hunt is the first confirmed act, but officials say this is only the beginning. News 3's Paul Wilcoxon has more. Southern Illinois University has a really rich history in hosting top musical acts. We all know the Banterra Center, once formerly known as SIU Arena, is the home of the SIU men's and women's basketball teams. But it was once the place to go to see some of the best entertainment acts of their time. We're really excited to be bringing concerts back to the Banterra Center in a really big way. From Bruce Springsteen and the E Street Band in the early 80s to Bush, No Doubt, and the Goo Goo Dolls in the mid-90s, fans look forward to seeing some of the biggest musical acts come to the area. Our heyday was much more in the 80s, 90s, and early 2000s, and then took a step back from it for almost 10 years. All that will soon change after Monday's announcement of the return of concerts to the Banterra Center. On August 3rd, uh, the Summer on the Outskirts tour with Sam Hunt, and his special guests, Brett Young and Lily Rose, will be live in Banterra. The Hunt concert in August is just one part of a long-term goal of the university to bring entertainment back to the center. Chancellor Lane, you know, joined the university in 2020, and he did a pretty extensive listening and learning tour and le heard really loud and clear from the community and alumni. What he heard is exactly how important events at the Banterra Center are to the region and the alumni. This actually falls into two of the objectives that we have within the branding and partnerships pillar. Those pillars are a better collaboration with the city of Carbondale and the region, as well as building a strong relationship with the school's alumni. We really feel like um, the concerts can be one of the tactics that we have to really help um, us achieve those objectives. Potter says all types of entertainment are being considered. Their goal is to bring in acts that will attract the most people. We're really, really thrilled to be bringing concerts back to SIU. Reporting in Carbondale, Paul Wilcoxon, News 3.